Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Let's Play Satisfactory. This is early access, so I just want to warn you that there might be some issues and missing features. Right now it unlocks to tier 6, I believe, uh, when they're ready to launch the game, uh, like full launch and release, they are planning to do up to tier 8, I believe. Uh, from what I heard, uh, Togi gave me a, a lot of information, so if he's wrong, blame Togi. But anyways, Togi and I had a good chat. He showed me around his base. Um, we crashed out twice on multiplayer, which he hadn't crashed before. Um, I also checked on Satisfactory uh, Steam, or not Steam, sorry. Uh, no, you can't play Satisfactory on Steam. Right now, just Epic Game Store. Uh, but on Discord as well as Reddit. And unfortunately, it seems like multiplayer is a bit unstable. Uh, plus, Togi and I are, uh, we, we, we can play cooperatively, but it's more like Fortress Craft co-op. Co kind of like you don't get your own base, you kind of have to do things together. Uh, we'd like to see a little bit more separation there, but even then, we think uh, it's probably best to wait till uh, Satisfactory is released, uh, since you know multiplayer will get polished as well as um, my internet. Hopefully, will get better then. My internet's a little bad. Who knows what malformed uh, packets are doing uh, when we're playing multiplayer? So let's get to a new game. We're just gonna start. Uh, I've talked too long already. So you get three starting areas, and basically, as cool as this looks like a snowy area, it's actually just a desert. Um, it's actually quite tropically desert when you first start. Uh, I, I checked all three of them out. They're beautiful. They're awesome. Um, I was even thinking, hey, you know what? Maybe I'll start in one of the different areas. But honestly, the grass feels pretty. And that way, I can explore these while I'm in the game. For example, I'll go from the grassy fields to, you know, the desert and the, the, the northern forest. So that's kind of what I want to do. Um, I'm looking forward, and I hope they add more biomes in the future. I'd love to see, like, a snow-type biome, things like that. But uh, let's uh, start out. So, EA Let's Play. And uh, we'll just say private. Um, well, actually, I'll do friends only. Why not? I only have one friend, so if Togi uh, adds me, he can join my game. That's that's completely awesome. And let's start. My uh, options are maxed out. Everything's on ultra. Uh, the only thing I did was I turned on VSync and I disabled blur because I hate blur. I don't need my game to blur my eyes when I look around. <laughs> I have enough eye trouble issues, just don't need that. So we're in space, you can move around and look around. Attention Pioneer, the following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Ooh. Vincent Incorporated. Fixit Pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results. Do they actually have gold? Infrastructure. I hope so. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. <laughs> That's so evil. Expand your factories, outposts, and pipelines through automation and augmentation. That's it. Get to work and be effective. Get to work and be effective. So originally when I th fall imminent. when I thought this was happening, during full procedure. I thought Spheric entry in five, four, I thought it was going to be like two, um, we crash landed or something. Then Togi's like, no, did you not pay attention? I'm like, no, I was waiting for my let's play. But apparently we're actually coming here to literally suck up all the resources, send them back into space to our other planet or whatever. I do like how the gravity of the one item is actually flying up. I don't know if it sits there all the time or if it is actually flying up. Then when you look at the wires, they're not floating up-ish. Like, because you're falling, right? So everything lifts up in the air. Oh yeah, so it was flipping up in the air. But the wires didn't. I guess they're really heavy-duty wires, so they don't have much movement. Ooh, I wonder if the buckle there piece did a bit. Sorry, I'm I'm always interested in like random little physics in games. Wow, that was w one hell of a smooth ride. Oh, I got a broken hand. Oh, sorry, you can't get out. God to speed? Explains a few things. 
Okay, so here we are. This is the beautiful world of Satisfactory. Welcome to Planet Massage 2 ABB, your designated <laughs> sector in the binary star <laughs> system of Akicha. Massage Pioneer, tube A baby official directory and assistant <laughs> tasked to support pioneers such as you in their mission. You are the third of your sector to survive planetfall. Congratulations. Thank you. Note, uh, oh. Objective based introduction initialized. Welcome to onboarding. Sounds dirty. Onboarding. Incoming First message. Objective. Please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the hub. It's Note, pretty badass. Fix it incorporated as cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. <laughs> okay, so hit F to enter dismantle mode. Uh, left click to dismantle. Oh, there we go. And there we go, I guess. Second objective. Please ensure you have your Fixit Incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Note, according to Fixit regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. Tab, and, uh, oh, here we go. This, ooh, it's a taser, basically. Objective. Please familiarize yourself oh. with the resource Hello. scanner to find iron. Note. The acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. Okay, so we're looking Initial for ooh, iron. Coloring properties in the flower petals. Oh, there you go. Further analysis required. So we are looking for iron. Uh, of course, it's a resource. You have a couple options. There's this way, there's that way, there's this way. This way looks slightly flatter, but then it's misleading because it probably goes down. Yeah, it looks like it goes downwards. We'll check this way since I'm going there now. I assume the resources are just scattered everywhere in the world. Um, oh, this is just wood. Oh, cool. Ha! Sorry. I get excited so easily for stuff like that. Oh, man, there's so many resources. I wonder what all the... It had a lot of blinks. They must be, like, smaller. Oh, I can see it right here, actually. There's the iron. Oh, wow. Hell yeah, this area is awesome. This is like Iron City, I think. Is this iron? Iron is usually this color, I think. Oh, crap. Ah! Ah! Okay, bad doggy. I didn't want to do that, but he had left me no choice. The Ew, your tail is future, gross. Light on how to defend yourself in the future. I recommend analysis. Oh. There you go. So we Four can... Objective. Build the hub. Note. To complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. Oh, you get more from Caution. these. Ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress. <laughs> non-optimal progress. Progress is everything. Let's get this one, and then we're going to build this hub. Or at least attempt to build this hub. I can do something with my Wi-Fi with the C key. There's some keys I don't understand yet. We're going to learn those eventually. So the hub, uh, I guess it gets in the way, but really you don't need it at, later on, from what Togi was telling me. I don't know where to put it, to be honest. I'm just going to put it over here. Um, I'll probably be a messy player. Oops, sorry. Um, a messy player, but uh, that's me. Somebody's got to be a messy player. So let's put the hub, like, right here. Is that it? I guess so. Oh, wow. I guess this is for upgrades later on. Fancy. You have unlocked hub feature, manual craft bench. Hub feature, hub terminal. Fifth objective. Hub upgrade, storage, and power. <laughs> Note, the craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. Uh-oh. Bring it, punk. Ha! 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 You didn't get me at all. Okay, sorry, I got distracted there. Upgrade the hub by using the hub terminal, so... Um, oh, this is the crafting terminal, and this is the hub terminal. So select a tier, 
And I guess select a milestone. This must be the... Oh, yeah, there you go. You click the milestone. So this is Tier 1, and then you have multiple milestones within the tiers, which is cool. So it's not like you just do Tier 0 and you're done. Tier 1, you know. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7? Hmm. Makes me wonder. Or is this part... Yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anyways... Um, it's like, I'm curious to, you know, the, know the progression, but we'll learn it. So it requires, uh, material. Oh, okay. So you need 10 iron, uh, circles. I don't know why I can't think of the name because it was there. Rod. <laughs> okay. So craft. Oh, you hold down. Oh my. I did change some of my settings, but I clearly changed some of the audio settings. Maybe too low. See if that changes it. It was like way too low. Okay, no, that's probably just how it is. <laughs> or it could be if. Oh, don't punch everything in sight, son. Okay, maybe it's effects volume, actually. Sorry. Oh, no, they're up too. Oh, we didn't apply, by the way. I forgot. Some games require that apply button. Yes, I want to make sure my audio settings are applied. I'm I'm sorry that you want to double check. There you go. Let's see if that changes it. No, that's just how it is, my friends. Okay. So it shows times two. I don't know what that exactly means, honestly, but... Oh, I get it. One, two. So two hammers, basically. To build it so this is pretty fast but something later on might take a lot more hammers and then it might not be worthwhile okay so we'll do iron rods I think we needed 10 there we go and then oh there you go you can click it over there you can probably even drag it over to be honest I guess it's too late now upgrade hub oh damn oh damn what is this thing Oh, what is this cool? Oh, whoa, it's like, oh, it's a biomass hub burner. Feature, biomass generator. Hub feature, personal storage. Scanner feature, copper. Damn. It looks build like a friggin' grinder. Blueprints, which can be found in the workshop when built. Build menu and craft bench, respectively. Okay, Sixth so objective, you can store your stuff in here if you want. Note, connect buildings to a generator for power. Note. Buildings such as the smelter require a blueprint to be set. Advice. Automate the smelting process and <gasps> use portable miners for optimal results. Ha, <laughs> that's so cool. Now, the question is, will it not bother because it can't produce, or it's not like there's no power needed, or is there something else? I'll leave it for now. That is so cool. Okay, so, uh, hold C and, uh, okay, so copper ore. We probably need some copper ore. Okay, so there's copper ore this way. Honestly, why not we go that way? I'll go with the 150 meters away, or, yeah, meters, yeah, nice. They didn't want to do it in centimeters. Okay. Oh. Okay, we don't want any... I th think the game has physics and all that, so... Ooh, I think I... Did I just take damage there? I wasn't paying attention. Yeah! Oh, not you again. Oh, I think I'm gonna get hit. Oh, never mind, we got him. Sorry. It might be hard to follow when I'm going all crazy fighting these guys, but... Oh, that's right. One of them hit me before. That's probably where I took the damage. So yeah, I probably didn't actually take any fall damage. So this is copper, and you get unlimited copper from my understand. Uh, oh, this is the impure. Oh, so there's going to be different types of purities of copper. Oh, that's just even more sexy. You know how to get a nerd happy. Okay. Gotta tell my spouse I won't be around for a while. 
I got my new love. Okay. Oh, there's more over here. Dude, that rock is really cool. Is that like death down there? Oh, yeah. Definitely death down there. That does not look safe. Oh. Maybe you need like a special... Oh, kind of dissipates a bit. I don't know. Maybe you need like a special suit or some way to access it later on. Okay. Either way, I would say we got our copper. So yeah, we got copper here and there. Awesome. Nothing over there? No. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm just hitting it multiple times. Just kind of curious to see uh, if there's any uh, like loose ones around. So It looks like the loose ones do show up, but they're very quick and brief. So they, they pop up and then they go. Okay. So now that we have copper, let's go ahead. Copper ingots. There you go. Oh, nice. Got 110 of them. So same thing, you gotta do two hits to uh, put these into bars. I do like the idea where you have this building instead of, like a lot of games, uh, like Fortorio for example, you can do it in your inventory, which I kinda like doing it in your inventory, but I like the more like stationary, you like gotta go to a certain place, do the crafting. Um, this is like your manual sort of style of doing it before you get into the big leagues, I guess. So I do like that sort of idea. Okay. I'm just going to go through it all. Might as well. I'm sure we're going to need it. Okay. I doubt we need ore itself. Uh, so let's see. So build an equipment thing. So probably Q. Oh, oh yeah. There's a few things here. So, um, a crafting bench. Used to manual craft equipment and range of parts. Okay, so I think it was this we had to make, I think. Oh, we need materials. Missing iron plates and iron rods. Iron plates and iron rods. Only three of each. And iron plates. So not not a lot required. Okay, I don't know where I want this. I kind of thought, hey, I'll line it up with this maybe. I don't even know if it's quite lined up, but there you go. There you go. Kind of floating there. I guess it has stuff there, but whatever. Um, Did I build it backwards or is this forwards? It's hard to tell. Oh no, I guess this is the forward. Oh, there's a drill and stuff there. Okay, I get it. Yet they have a manual to lift it up and down the drill. <laughs> it's like a high tech game, but then there's that that's like super low tech, like hand manualing it up and down for your precision. Okay, so uh, what does this thing do, anyways? Oh no, this is this thing over here. Oh, that's so damn cool, but wrong one. Um, so we learned how to. No, which one was it? Q, C, X. Oh, that's tutorial stuff. How did we do the deconstruct again? Oh, here you go. Dismantle. Oh, there we go. We got them all back. Okay. So that, uh, oh, that's the bulldozer. F key. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, so we actually have the wrong one. So it's the equipment one we want. And we need three more of each. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I like this. I'm already failing, but you know, the cool thing is you can get your stuff back. You weren't punished or beaten for it. Okay, so equipment workshop. That's kind of frightening when it does that. Oh, cool. Okay, this looks a little better, bit better. So what can we make here? Oh, so this is the sapper I guess we have. So you can make another one, probably if you lose it or whatever. You got a portable miner. Ooh. Um, I saw something where... Can I do it on here? Oh, add to-do... Oh, that is so freaking awesome! I, I saw something about a to-do list, but I wasn't sure. And there you go. So we need iron plates, wire, and cables. So... 
Cable's probably made out of this. Yeah, so we need a bunch of wires, honestly. I'll just hold a bunch of my inventory for now. There you go. And then we need four cables and then some more iron plates. I'm just making a few. I mean, even the cables, you'll probably need a bunch, right? But there you go. Okay. And then we go to this machine here. And then we're going to just craft this. Oh, so it requires 10. Oh, no, 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 no. Um... Does it use the resources or did it already use the resources? I think it might have jumped down now, so you could have removed it without losing the pro the resources, but meh. Okay, so then we have tab, is it? Yeah. So we can put these guys on your... Eh. Where did my progress bar go? One? No. Oh. 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 You put it in your hand. Oh, frack me. It's like a tiny little thing. Oh, it's growing, though. Oh, it doesn't require power? I'll be damned. That is so cool. So I was wondering how I get it on my bar, but instead you do it this way. And you can open it right here. Pick up, grab all. It does one a second. Yeah. I'll be damned. That is, I have to say, brilliant in so many ways. awesome okay so night's coming so you can't v for light uh what i will probably do just because i'm a nice guy ish um i will attempt to for the first little while Ooh, we gotta check this guy out uh i'll probably for the first little while uh do the episodes during the day so like nighttime i might just grab more iron like i'll i'll create a couple more of those portable miners and just grab the you know the copper as well uh, I won't do anything else in between, but it's just more like I'll grab some resources, do the manual part of it, get ourselves started, and that way for next episode we're a little bit more prepared. So this semi slug seems to emit weak potential energy from its crystalline shell. Further Ooh. analysis of crystals required to determine application. Okay, so grab all, and you, or you can use the other option to grab the miner itself, so you can recycle it, reuse it. They they did say they don't like wasting, so kind of makes sense. Did you change power wise at all? No, so you're still using you still have the same resources in there. Okay, so let's check out here. So we saw the container there before. That doesn't make a container. Who makes containers around here? You, no one makes a container apparently. Okay, so there's the milestone two. This is the milestone one. Oh, so no one actually has a container, apparently. That's weird. Oh, you know what we're missing? No. Did I build everything? Yeah. We built that one and that one. Okay. I guess everything. I guess the whole thing is the same. Yeah. Okay. So we got the portable miner, so I'll build the other two. And I'll bring them a copper after. Um, what else do we have over here? And then, yeah, you just got your iron. I'm just thinking, what's my next task? But, uh, okay, build an equipment workshop and craft the portable miner. Equip the portable miner, place it. Build a smeltery to automate production of ingots. Use the biomass burner. Okay, so let's actually do that quickly. Um, smelter. Oh, I don't know what I just did, but cool. Um, it's on the list anyways. Uh, iron and, okay, so we need more iron. Rods. 
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and there we go, smelter. And then, oh, you have a, like a insert kind of little option. So if you're gonna automate this over time, and this is probably the worst thing I'm about to do, you probably don't want to go crazy. And this is your input and you, your outputs on that side, I guess. So you want to be careful. So now what you want to do is get a power line, and the power line uh, has to go from here to here. Oh, damn, it worked. Iron. Okay, do we have iron ore on us? Yeah, we do. Oh, there we go. So it does 30 per minute. So it does one less, I guess, in a sense. Oh, and this is our output. Okay. So you could probably only do about a stack. That is so cool. So let's see how our power usage is for such a thing. Oh, capacity. Consuming 4 megawatts. It says 0 0.75 seconds. So it does look like it does slow down uh, depending on what's in there. So maybe uh, wood will even go faster. Uh, let's see here. Because we do have this wood. Let's see if this changes anything. Uh, where's the wood? Ah, look at this! So the wood itself, I mean, this probably ran out, but the wood itself is even better. Oh, I think it's running now. Oh yeah, so look how slower the wood itself is, because it has a five second. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, and then we can just double click and get our materials out of there. Not bad, not bad. So can we make another one of these? Probably. Uh, we're missing eight wire. Oh, and some... Oh, yeah, eight wire. So let's get the eight wire. Wait, wire or cable? I think it's... I don't know. We'll get a bit of everything. Because we'll need more power cables anyway, so... I really don't know which one it was missing, so... Okay, so... We got the smeltery going, and uh, we'll do the same thing. We'll just have it side by side, and I don't know if there's like a line two button. Oh, I guess there. Awesome, and then we can hit two because there's a shortcut. Oh, it does not like that. So we got to figure out. Oh, wait a minute. Oh no, it's going to that one, so... Okay, so we did bad here at this point. <laughs> so I got uh, something I have to do for the next episode. I gotta see how to disconnect the wire. Because I don't think you can click the power wire. Yeah, so I'll figure out how to do that next episode. What I think we're going to do, though, is you need to hook this up to a connector. Oh, you know what? We might have no power poles yet. That might be why. Oh, it's a power line? But we have no power poles. Okay. I also need to learn how to unhook the power line so I can do that. So it looks like for now we only have one single line you can do at once. Uh, so basically uh, I can't, yeah, I can't click anywhere on there. I can click this one and do it, of course. But I can't, yeah, there's the power pole. Missing concrete, which I don't think we have concrete yet. Uh, so yeah, so basically I guess to split this you need another power thing. So we can only use one at a time right now, so meh. Uh, but we're all learning, right? Uh, what was the disassemble? F, and then we'll just take this part. Awesome. There you go, we got our resources back anyways. So there you have it, guys. That's our first uh, episode on Satisfactory, and uh, we have a while to go yet to learn the game, and we're going to do that, and we're going to have a lot of fun. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see you wonderful people next time. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Goodbye.